when you're asleep. They're just getting started. John Romano, Dave Palumbo, After Hours. Welcome back, guys. It's that time again. We are After Hours, and I'm back here today with John Romano, and by popular demand, Greg Valentino's back with us as well. What's up, guys? What's going on, Davey? Now, and John. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we got to show our age and we got to go backwards in time a little bit. And, uh, you know, someone who was a, was a big, I guess, I wouldn't say influence, but he was a big person in my life, personality in my life, and I know your lives too, back in the uh, early 2000s, all the way, you know, leading up to, you know, uh, probably around 2010, was uh, Derek Anthony. And Derek Anthony was a, a, a person that I had met. He was a kid in the neighborhood, so to speak. When he was 19, I met him at a club. I had heard about him, and he had an unbelievable physique for 19 years old. Big arms and you know, good abs. And I was like, holy mackerel. I said, you've got to compete. And so I started working with him, and uh, then we all became friends with him. And he came on the TV shows and started working with RX Muscle. And you know, he became a personality in our industry. He was really you know, uh, one of the first YouTubers, you know, before YouTubers were even YouTubers, right? Before yeah. you could even monetize videos. And uh, unfortunately, he was his own worst enemy, and uh, his life ended way too early, I think at 31 years old. And uh, this December is going to be the sixth anniversary of his death, so I wanted to do kind of a little tribute show. A lot of people have been asking me about it, and I think it's only uh, appropriate that we do one, and we all knew him pretty well, so I think we're gonna, we'll just t tell some stories about Derek. Um, you know, John, I know you met Derek kind of through me. Greg, how did you meet Derek? Believe it or not, I met Derek at, uh, first of all, I'm good friends with Rosetta. You know what I mean? Rosetta Mortati. His ex-girlfriend. Happens yeah. to be his ex, right? His ex-girlfriend. But I met him at, I met him at one of those parties. You know the after, uh, all right, John and Dave, you guys know who I'm talking about. You know the after parties. Um, I used to talk about this sometimes in my column and it caused a big problem. You know, after the Night of Champions, they always had that after party and a lot of the gay guys would go there and the bodybuilders and, yeah. and Sean Ray was always there and you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, who was the guy who held that? It was a bunch of, it was a gay guy who I, held it, right? I, believe it or not, I can't fucking remember his name. I can't fucking remember. It wasn't Ulrich, it, was it? Well, say it again. Ulrich? No, no, no. He came after. Oh. He started the parties after. Uh, I forgot his fucking name. I can't believe I forgot. And he's if he's, I doubt he's watching this, but if he is, he's glad I forgot his name. <laughs> I, put, I put it in fucking rambling freak about all that shit. And he got so fucking mad at me. He wanted to ban me. because I, I never went to one of those parties. What would go on there, Greg? Oh, dude, I used to see Tom Prince and fucking, that's how me and fucking Derek Anthony, you know, they had food and all that. And all the guys after the Night of Champions would come over there and a lot of the gays from New York would be there. Like, you know, like it, it was like a whole, like, I don't know, it was like an ass greasing party for all the pros. And <laughs> they would come there and they would eat food and shit. And I, you know, Christian Duffy, I'd seen him there and, and fucking Craig Titus. Um, but I saw Tom Prince sitting on a couch with a fucking Asian kid, a little Asian kid, and they started fucking, I don't know, I don't want to say what they're doing. What were they doing, <laughs> Greg? But I, well, all I know is he had his arm around him, and they looked, you know, buddy-buddy, you know what I mean? It, <laughs> was, it it, an, it, Prince, was it one of those, Prince, like, lady boys that he was with? No, 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 no. Dude, they, there were no trans, these were gay guys, you oh, know what I mean? Oh, okay. And, um, and uh, you know, I was there, uh, I was with Bob Bonham, um, and, uh, what's his name came up to me, Derek Anthony. And we started talking and we started laughing because, you know, we'd see all these guys and shit because they would all get lit with, you know, as we talked about, and, you know, these bodybuilders, many, they party, bro. They're not, they're not just living the healthy life. Like you think they are and all that shit. You know that Dave. So when these guys would get there, even Craig Titus was fucking lit. And I was friends with Titus, yeah. but they were lit. And, and Bob, Bob, uh, not Bob Chick. I almost said Bob Chicarello. Well, Bob Chicarello hung out with Tom Prince. Um, I don't remember seeing Chicarello there, but I know that Prince was there, and he had his arm around some little Asian boy, and he, you know, <laughs> they'd be giving each other little smooches and shit, and then he'd be eating, and he was lit, dude. He was fucking lit. You know, it, 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 I'm not saying that they were gay, but they were definitely fucking, you know, all that gay for pay. These guys were all that gay for. I could tell you, John's probably like, you're not saying they're gay, but they're fucking kissing guys. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> but. Derek wasn't kissing anyone, was he? No, 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 oh. no, no. 
Neither was Sean Ray. Like, Sean oh. Ray was always... Dude, Sean Ray was like a fixture there. You know what I mean? And, he uh, probably and, got paid to be there. That's why he was probably there. Well, all those guys, it was gay for pay. A lot of those guys so. were into that whole gay for pay shit. And these were all the guys that were fucking running that stuff. You know, like a lot of the New York gay for pay guys mm. were, you know, at that party and running that. You know what I'm saying? Now, Ehrlich came later. I used to go to his parties, too, and I used to hang out with Derek Anthony there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, Ulrich, you know, Derek made a lot of money from Ulrich doing photo shoots and stuff like that. You know. Oh, the- yeah. Listen, uh, you know, I used to tell Derek, dude, don't get fucking crazy because you know he would get mad, you know, because he would do the – he would, you know, pose and guys would, you know, throw him some schkadol and stuff for that. <laughs> he hated <laughs> when we called him gay. I used to always tell him, Derek, it's okay. Just tell us you're gay. And he, he, he'd get so mad at me when I would say that. Like, <laughs> you know, I was just breaking his balls, of course. But. He hated that, though. Dave, he hated that. But you know what? He made a lot of money off those guys. Oh, I know. And they loved never, it. Once in a while, you go to get big and you find pictures of him in like some little fucking briefs and shit like that. And, you know, <laughs> and, and, uh, you know, like dancing for some guy or something. Yeah. And, and he would get really fucking like, you know, I'm going to fucking kill that motherfucker. Yeah. You know, I'll fight you where you want to meet. You know, De- you know, Derek was, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he, but in it, it, I'm going to be honest with you. Derek was the ladies' man. You guys know that shit. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I mean, Rosetta, when he was with Rosetta, she was fucking hot as hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I love Rosetta. She's a good girl. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's hard to have a Derek Anthony tribute without Rosetta Mortadio. We, we should have had her here. You're right. We should have called her up. We should have had her on, yeah. But you know what? Right. I thought it was a guy show. I want to talk guy stuff. So, But she could have talked with us, too, about it. The, the truth yeah, is, that, so you meet Derek at this party. And was he like a fan, like of your column and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, he came up to me, but I knew who he was because of Rosetta and Bob, you know, because Bob and Rosetta were really close, and right. uh, so I knew who he was. And uh, he came up to me, he's like, "Bro, you got me laughing," you know how he was, you know, yeah. you got me laughing with that fucking column and stuff. <laughs> and then we just started hanging out, and we hit it off. And then I would see him when we would do all the like, you know, when we would always, all of us, you, me, John, and everybody. When we would do the uh, Arnold Classic shows, he would be, ba- you know, he'd come backstage at the booth, and then him and I would hang out later on a lot. Yeah. And, uh, with, you know, Rocco La Braccia, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You remember Rocco? Rocco, Rocco yeah. 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 Rocco La Braccia. And, uh, you know, I remember we were all in, um, we were in a, uh, we were in the airport and shit. We were hanging out, and Derek goes, look, look, check it out. And it's fucking, all these people going to all the UFC guys that were walking. They happened to be in the same airport. And, uh. Sergio Oliva was standing there, and nobody came up to him. Nobody knew who the fuck he was. They were walking right by him. These fans were, were, were going all over the place to all these other fucking guys. You know what I mean? Um, uh, what's his name there? Silva from the fucking – what's the fucking – I forgot that guy's name. From, um, you know, the, the MMA, the MMA guy. The Silva? guy. Yeah, Vandalay Silva. I couldn't remember his first name. And, uh, you know, he was a nice guy too, by the way, Vandalay. But they were all going to those guys, and uh, – and Sergio Oliva was just like leaning against the wall by himself. And Derek's like, look at that shit, man. He fucking, nobody, nobody even realizes one of the greatest bodybuilders in the world to stand the right fucking there. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's going over. So we went over, we talked to him for a couple of minutes. That's you know great. what I mean? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, but you know, and, and the one thing that you got to understand is Derek and I, the one thing we have in common, man, is the fucking Yankees. He was fucking passionate. He was, like, yeah, he was a Yankee, big Yankee fan from when he was oh a kid. Oh, my God. Yankees on him. He was a oh good my- baseball player, too, from what I understand when he was I, younger. That's what I heard. I didn't, you know, he was he was young when he was, but I think he even got uh, uh, buried or something in Yankee shit. You know what I mean? Because I know his, his mother was very, you know, upset, obviously. You'd bury your own kid. But he was, you know, do you know that he fucking tweeted? He, uh... Was it tweeted or, or fucking, no, posted on Facebook or something like that? Literally an hour or two before he passed away, he posted some shit. Oh, well, he was always, he was, a, he was the social media, John, you could talk about this. He was the first guy to really capitalize on social media, more so than we were. Because he was on, Inst- we were making fun of him with his YouTube videos he was doing. He would sit in the front of the webcam, he would flex, and he would talk to the camera and tell people off. And I'm, no one did that. There was no rich pianos then. There were no... You know, nope. uh, people doing rants like that. He was, th- there was no monetization of these videos. He just did it because he wanted to get fans and he would pose on there for, for guys. And he was the originator of that. He really almost invented that whole, uh, that whole re- venue. Uh, however, I think it knocked about four years off his life. Oh, definitely. I mean, he, getbig.com and the, the epic <laughs> meltdowns he would have on that site. I mean, I saved them from them so many times. I and know. Derek. Calm down. I mean, just forget. 
If you never logged on to there, and you would never read a word of that. Right. You would never know what's going on. Right. Yeah, but I know it, and I got it. I got to do. It. And he would just get so worked up, and the, I remember talking to him. The veins were sticking out of his yeah. neck. Yeah. He would go nuts. And I, you, Derek, you're gonna blow an O-ring, man. Calm down. You know. <laughs> but that's what caused him. But that's why, though. It's because he would go to those fucking sites. And that's when he would get on YouTube and go do all these fucking things like, fuck all you motherfuckers. <laughs> you Venom one, two, three, you motherfucker. You think I'm bad? I'll fucking fuck you. You want to meet me? Uh, me? Do you remember? Dude, remember when he spit on fucking, uh, what's yeah, his Vince name? Vince Goodrum. I saved his life. Vince Goodrum, he spit. I, I he, pulled Derek off of him. I, Derek was going to kill him. It was the most, yeah, Vince Goodrum almost got de de demolished by Derek. Derek was, yeah, well, was I mean, screaming racial this, epithets at him. This close. Derek was calling him a porch monkey, yeah. calling him a fuck himself, and you know, spit on him, and, and like he, was, I, I, it was this close. I grabbed Derek in a bear hug and I yanked him behind the curtain, but but back side, Derek, you can't do this. You're gonna go to jail right. for crying out loud. Stop it. You know, oh, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. kill that fucking, yeah. you know, racial epithets like crazy. It was he wanted it absolutely kill him yeah. right there on the floor at the Olympia. Was it the Olympia or the Arnold? I don't remember which. I was, was the there. Arnold. I was with you. I oh, the Olympia. Guys. You're right. Olympia. You're right. Oh, but all you had to do was say something to him. Do you want to calm him down? You say, yo, fucking Derek, what do you think about that trade the Yankees are going to make? And he'd be like, yo, bro, why? Why would they trade, bro? They need more pitching, bro. And he would be good. That, that would fucking do. That would calm him down. I, that was his calming factor. He was my greatest accomplishment, Derek, and also my biggest failure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I brought him into the industry. You know, I, he was super successful. He actually, he, he did a show at 20 years old, the Collegiate Nationals. He was third. He, he had never competed before. He was really good. And then he just, it, he got all tied up in the synthol and, and, and the super synthol. He was like the original Rich Piano, really, if you think about it, right? Oh, oh With yeah. the tattoos oh, yeah. and the blown up arms and the traps and the shoulders. He... Oh. He was rich, except Rich might have been a better businessman than Derek. Rich made a lot more money than Derek made. But, and Derek just, you know, he took everything so seriously. And everyone, anyone who said anything critical to him, he just, he, he, he internalized it. And it was eating him away, you know. Well, but, you know, that was, that was the beauty of Derek Anthony. Because he was, if there was ever one guy in our industry who was up as upfront and on the cuff, as anybody, it was him. You knew oh, yeah. exactly what he was thinking, what yeah. he was feeling. He didn't let on for us if he was hurt, happy, sad, whatever. You knew it. He was right up yeah. in your face about it. And I mean, that was it was like an innocence yeah. about him, really. You know, dude, when that's all three of us were in New York Guineas, and he was a New York Guinea too. And that's why you can't fucking New Yorkers, man. We, we tell it like it is, you know what I mean? It, our, my parents were like that, my fucking everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's the yeah. way he was. He couldn't hold it back. Nope. That's that's why he wasn't, that's why I'm a shitty businessman. Because, you know, I'm telling you, you can't, you know, you, you wear your emotions on your sleeve. He was hyper like me. You know what I mean? Think and, about, and, but Greg, think about how many YouTube subscribers he would have nowadays if he was yeah, around. Uh, a million. He'd, he'd a have million. million, yeah, because he was crazy. I mean, people just wanted to tune in just to see what the fuck he was going to say. That's and then, right. Remember, you know what's funny? He would have more because they want almost like the Jason Genova thing. They just want to see him have a meltdown. Right. They would fucking bait him. <laughs> they would say something fucked up, right. and he would get on there and challenge it the whole every one of them to a fight yeah. and shit like that. They'll bring up that muscle pose and shit. You know what I mean? The, the, <laughs> the muscle worship shit. And he'll, he'll, he'd he'll want to fight every one of them. He he would offer money. I'll go to your fucking house. Let's right. put up that man. I'll fight you on your front lawn. <laughs> <laughs> he, so he, At some he, point, when John and I first started RX Muscle, we decided we were going to give Derek his own show. Remember that, John? Right. Yep, yep. So it was called the Derek Anthony Show. And yep. at the time, the guy, Jeff, the producer who was working for us, he, he was producing, he was doing the show with Jeff and editing the show, which is the, which was the biggest mistake we made because Jeff was, was you know, he, if he was in a bad mood, he wouldn't edit it. You know, you couldn't get him to do anything. He was like the kid, the, the incorrigible kid, you know. So Derek right, yeah. was, like, was like a nutcase with this show. His whole in ego was in and, 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 and personality was invested in this show. And... <laughs> so you remember the time De uh, Jeff didn't get the show up and Derek went nuts on him? <laughs> is that what he, was, he wanted to shoot him? Yeah, he, he threatened <laughs> to shoot him in the foot. Now this was that was 
It was very <laughs> funny because it was kind of that was around the time when Goodfellas, you know, had, you know, everyone was into Goodfellas, and remember they shot uh, Spider. What the guy's this name? And remember the shoe shine guy? Spider. Yeah, yeah, he shot him in the shot foot. him in the foot. So Derek was into the whole mafia, you know, thing. He was convinced he was in the mafia, and he yep. and he was like, I'm going to shoot him in the foot. And so I thought it was so funny. I brought it up on the t on the TV show, and John and I were the co-host of the original t Heavy Muscle TV show. And we were all in studio with Derek and, and Jeff, and uh, I'm going to play a clip from it because it was very funny. Derek didn't think it was funny, but you and I were hysterical. Here we go. Play it. I wonder why. Okay. When you want to talk about the whole story? That'll take an hour. No, the story was that, that, that his computer crashed or whatever happened, and he couldn't put it uh, up. Oh, really? That's yeah. the real that's story? Exactly that's exactly, exactly what happened. Why don't you tell the fans the truth? We did. What is the truth? Yeah, that is, is the, the truth. truth. Why I got pissed? And no, you didn't no, no, have to no, do no. it with a certain girl? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> first of all, first of all, <laughs> no, no, not with nothing, nothing, nothing to do with nothing, it. Thank nothing, you. nothing, nothing at all. Nothing with Jeff. No, right. no, no. About the topic. <laughs> It had nothing to do with that. No, the, no, the show didn't go up because he didn't finish editing it. Not, I wasn't talking about the show. I was talking about w w why why I said that. It happened. To, it had to go be over a girl. It wasn't because I was pissed off him at first over oh, right. the fucking show. You did show. say you were going to shoot him in the foot because of the girl. Yeah, right, first right, of right. all, and you fucking blow every little goddamn thing out of proportion. And if you were a real friend, you wouldn't go, oh, God, Jeff, look what Derek said. That was between me and you. How do you know the context of a fucking text message? Okay? I was joking around saying I should go there and shoot them in the foot. Like, I'm gonna fucking do it. First of all, I wouldn't shoot him in the foot. First of all, I'd have somebody shoot him in the foot. I, I thought it was very funny that you said you shoot him in the foot. So if it's, a, so it's a fucking joke, that's not a threat. If it was a threat, I'd do it in fucking person. Right, well, I wasn't even talking about that. If he was worried about you shooting him in the I foot. So don't use the excuse that he's threatening you. I wasn't even talking about that. I wasn't even talking about that. I wasn't even talking about that. So facts are facts. Dave is doing this show. Come on, man. Seriously. RX Muscle is doing this show based on the money that we bring in and from sponsors. I report to Dave. Dave pays I, I don't the bill. give a fuck who you report to. So the God. money comes from sponsors. If, I can, if you're not getting sponsors want, to pay for your show, I, I, then that means it's being subsidized. If I can change Who's ever the subsidizing? It doesn't matter who's subsidizing it. The fact so is, what? it's being subsidized. Uh, right, your right. show makes yeah. no money. Uh, so you've had nine weeks, you brought in zero. Uh, not a fucking dime. I got sponsors. I got sponsors. I got sponsors. Okay, you got shit. You got don't nothing. Get up. Yeah. All right. What? You're the only one that's allowed to get loud. Don't you get fucking up. cost us money. You fucking I cost, cost you money. sponsors. Then I'll fucking pay. Jeff. Then fucking pay it. Jeff. I mean, go ahead. Reach into your fucking pocket. Jeff's right over there. Yeah. Write him a check. How much you yeah. want, Jeff? How much you want, Jeff? He's yeah. gonna fucking pay you. Let's see what I got. Mr. Fucking guy living in his brother's house your with his car for sale. He's gonna fucking pay you. Go ahead. Excuse me. Pay him. Excuse you me? just said it. I'm living in my brother's house. I gotta sell my van. I'm fucking broke. You want to talk about my financial <laughs> situation? I'll, I'll fucking you. talk about yours, motherfucker. Uh, there he is. Pay him. That's my bagel tomorrow. Pay him, man. Fucking pay him. Go ahead. Fucking pay him. Don't get fucking. That was that was a classic uh, a classic a confrontation between you and Derek there, John. You're gonna have to edit that in because that was so muffled. The result, very the result of that was, <laughs> the result of that was like a week later, Derek says, I got a sponsor. Yes. <laughs> Anthony's car wash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the car oh, wash sponsor. <laughs> Did he have a chicken place too? Air conditioning too? service. Yeah. <laughs> I'm expecting him to get GAT and, yeah. you know, the supplement companies. And he's got a fucking air conditioning <laughs> service and dry cleaners and a pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. He came to me after you guys had a little bit of a fallout, or whatever, when he left. Yeah, we... I'm the one that got him with Voice America because he asked me, bro, I need to get my own show. I, wait, is it Voice America? He had, I, I hooked him up with the one that's. It, Blog, it was free. I think it was Blog Talk Radio or something like that, right? Blog, Blog Talk, thank you. Blog, Blog Talk. Talk Radio. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to kick him off. The, I, had, I had to kick him out of there. I, so, and he did his. Blog I said, do your own show. It. I got show. him on Blog Talk Radio. He, he didn't even know they existed. And I yeah. hooked him up with the guy because the guy used to call me all the time. And I hooked him up with Derek. So he would always try. Then he would try to get me on his show. And I couldn't go on because Blackman told me, don't you dare. You know what I mean? Like, he, you know, Black exclusive, me. exclusive. Well, plus Blackman also associated, even though he wasn't with you guys, he was doing his own thing on Blog Talk. And I'm the one that hooked him up with Blog Talk. He didn't give a shit, Blackman. He, he still associated him with you. As a matter of fact, he banned him from the uh, from um, uh, muscular development website, and then he, 
when Derek was on his own, he was like, look, I'm not with RX. I, I want to go back on muscular development. And uh, I told him, look, I don't, I don't know what to say. And Robbie Duran was there. And I said, Robbie, he w put him back on. He wants to go back on. And, and Robbie's like, Steve Blackman will kill me. No way. You know what I mean? So, and uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, there's a video of it. I have a video clip of it where, you know, Derek's going, come on, Robbie. Come on. Put me fucking back on there. You know, but he, he, was, he, yeah, he was mad. He was mad at us for like a month or so after that. That's but it so was actually the best thing. That's me Derek. letting Derek do his own show is the best thing because it kind of gave him his own independence and he could do whatever he wanted. He was too demanding. You know what I mean? It was too, it was too much. It was too much already. But he, but, but he, but he did it. I mean, yeah, he, no, he, he did it. He did a good job with it eventually. He it took did him a, a great while. job of it. By the by, the end, he was like doing fantastic. I mean, I he was doing really well. But you know. One of the reasons why he, he would have been a, just a sensation today is because he his personality was magnetic. Whether yes. you were mad at him, hated him, loved him, you couldn't stay away from him. And I remember yeah. we had that we had that steak eating contest with 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 the <laughs> restaurant. Remember with Joel and yeah. and yeah. and, and, and John, John Scuderi, Scuderi, yeah, John Scuderi and Rick, and everybody's coming, everybody's showing up, and like it's kind of like. Dull, you know, and then b b ten minutes before the thing is start, you hear this, you hear this disco music thumping <laughs> in the background, and it's Derek <laughs> driving up in the Corvette with the top down, you know, and it's like oh, th it, within one second the whole mood changed. Everybody was happy and you know was laughing, you know, because Derek was there, yeah. you know. We had a very good chemistry, all of us. It was a shame that De that that jo uh, that Greg really couldn't participate because Blackman was so like you know. I, I own you. I own you. And he was paying. Well, oh, he would have killed me. Yeah, but Imagine but I mean, we had a really good chemistry in that early years of Arx Muscle. Derek was one of the you know one of the whack packers, one of the original personality guys. You know, he was on all these after hour shows with us. You oh. know, arguing and and you know talking about whatever he's got going on. And he remember he brought the uh, the porn star Lisa Lipson to my house. Yeah. Remember that she came to this. She was in your bedroom. It was in my computer room. That was the original studio. Yeah, we did a whole show with her. And she was reading her underwear. And I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was lying about the fact that he knew her. But she was actually from like around the corner from him, growing up or something he was like that. Hooking up with her, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah, I think you he know what he did to? He had me fucking. He was supposed to marry some girl, and he had me put all this engagement shit in my column, and I did. And a big congratulations. And by the time it was printed. They were already, they were not, they were done with each other. Oh, that was, was I remember hot. that. That was a crazy remember relationship that? he had. We had yeah, to get it was the ring, nuts. help him get the ring back, remember? Right, the ring, oh, yeah, was, right. She didn't want to give the ring back. You're yeah, right. Yeah, like ask Rick Collins, you know, his legal opinion on getting the ring back. <laughs> oh, but bro, he was like, this is the girl. I'm done. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be with nobody else for the rest of my life. She's yeah. the best. And he told me, Greg, you do me a favor, put it in a thing. And I actually put a picture of him and her. Yeah. In, in the magazine, in my column, like, big congratulations to my boy, Derek Anthony, and all this shit. And by the time it printed, he was like, bro, we're fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was too late, you know? She was, like, from Alabama or something, right? Yeah. 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 See, that's yeah. the thing. She was, a, she was, like, one of them, like, good old girls, you know, like, you know, you know, Southern Belle, you know what I mean? And, and he was going to, and he was, he was going to move there or some shit. Like, well, yeah. Derek was in this, into this whole thing where he wanted to, he, he pretended he was in the mafia, you remember? He would get yeah. the Godfather and the mafia tat and the, the Los Casa Nostros tattoos on his arms so that people would think he was in the mafia. <laughs> he, he really he was, was the nicest guy. There was well, no, he was a great guy. Not the local wise guy after me, remember, Dave? He's the nice, <laughs> who is this fucking guy? And you know, he's, he's like the local, he's like the local, you know, like the local guy, you know, because he wanted me, wanted me to lay off Derek. And I'm like, <laughs> holy crap. No, but if you probably get the mafia on me. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. if you would get me, him, and Jimmy the Bull together, forget When I get with Jimmy the Bull, I make Jimmy the Bull crazy. You know what I mean? Anytime we've done shit together, forget it. I, he gets nuts. I was at a club with Derek, a Mirage, and by our house, and we were hanging out, and, he, and this is. Something was going on in Get Big where they were saying he was gay. One of the many threads where they were always saying that Derek, Derek's really gay. So Derek goes to me, you know, this is, I think, when we, when we would bring our little, those little, you know, phones, uh, uh, excuse me, not phones, cameras that you would throw away cameras, you'd have to take the film and develop it. He's yeah. like, so we would carry them to clubs and take pictures and stuff like that. So we're at the club and he's like, yeah, Dave, come here, come here, come here. He brings me over to the bar. And he's like, all right, take a picture. And he grabs this girl, and he must have gone over there and set it up. And he's like, just starts making out with this girl. 
like, and he's like, and he's like, like motion me to take the picture. I take the picture, and he, and he like almost like throws her down, and it walks away. He's like, all right, thanks, thanks, thanks. Give me the. It was like he had to have the cameras to have proof that he wasn't gay. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It was classic. Who does stuff like that? It was, it was, it was so funny. You know. <laughs> That's, that's because I said, Derek, that girl liked you. He goes, yeah, 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 I don't want anything to do with her. They would get under his skin. Yeah. It, all they do is post a picture of him in like these little briefs or something <laughs> that some fucking gay dude fucking took. And, and he get, he would get nuts. He would get fucking crazy. Yeah. You know? And that's it. I'm done. Fuck this bodybuilding shit. He yeah. used to start that shit. <laughs> Fuck this bodybuilding shit. I'm done with all these fucking guys. I'm fucking done. You know what I mean? But you know, it, it would backfire on them all the time because he did this one. He did this. He, he was gonna. They, some porn company approached him to be a porn, like a porn star. Right. And they did this. They did this shower scene where he was like, you know, like taking a shower. But you didn't see nothing. I mean, it was like, you yeah. know, wait, no, no body parts or nothing. And you know, he was kind of being, you know, sexy in the shower and everything. <laughs> and they, they, then some idiot posted it on Get Big, and all the guys are fucking attacking him and everything. Meanwhile, like hundreds of girls are like replying to this, like swooning over him. Yeah, yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah he, did, he wouldn't concentrate, focus on the positive. He always had to focus on the negative. Right, right. So he's got like three hundred yeah. girls going, "Oh my God, he's yeah. hot!" Right, you know, right. and, and and four douchebags are saying, "Hey, yeah. fucking gay," yeah. you know. And it, he, those are the three he would, four he would concentrate on while. You know, he's got this tidal wave of women, like, know. you know, going know. crazy. It's a shame. We went to Hawaii together a couple times uh, to, for bodybuilding shows and appearances. I think he was shooting stuff for, with Ulrich, that guy. And then I was, uh, you know, doing an appearance there or guest posing there. I mean, he was everywhere. I was like, Derek, you're going to Hawaii too? How did you get involved with this? Oh, so I'm doing a photo shoot there. So everywhere I went, this he was there. I mean, he would go to the Olympia, the Arnold. I mean, it was it was you know, Derek was was it was everywhere. I mean, he was a, yeah. he was very well known. You know, he, he was like the Rich Piano. I'm telling you, he was like the predecessor to. He was like a Rich Piano, Boston Lloyd, like amalgamum, like mixture. Prior, he was like the progenitor to those guys. They they almost probably copied a lot of what Derek did uh, to be successful themselves because uh, he talked about drugs. He talked about, um, you know, uh, he had tattoos and, you know, he talked about beating up people and putting muscle on and he was into synthol. He was so into the synthol and I used to always yell at him. I said, you have big arms. You don't need to be. I mean, when, sir, this, is, this is how bad it got to the point where, remember that he was going to get a kidney transplant? Yeah. yeah. Derek, Derek when, for people who don't know, Derek had very high blood pressure. Just right. It ran in his family. And then, of course, you know, you take the steroids and then his explosive personality, temper and everything like that. It was undiagnosed, and that's what destroyed his kidneys in reality. Yeah. Um, and that was his undoing, of course. He was on a kidney transplant list, and the doctor said, look, don't do anything. Just don't even work out. Just lay low for a month or two. We got to get all your labs cleared and everything like that so you can get the kidney transplant. He was injecting synthol into his traps in the hospital. In the <laughs> hospital he was doing this. I was like, Derek, what are you doing? Are you nuts? Yeah. Ah, I gotta do. I gotta take pictures for the webcam. He was doing webcam from the hospital. Like he was, he was, he was so crazy, you know. He would I, shoot them calves. He used to shoot his calves he, a lot. You know, he didn't need to shoot his calves. He had some of the best calves I've ever seen. I got yeah, news yeah. for you. Well, he did, but I, he was fucking crazy. He was fucking crazy. He just was I, a an extreme. He lived a very fast, extreme life. He was explosive. But he made a very big impact. The people who he was friends with, he was a very loyal friend, you know. Oh, yeah. Almost too oh, he loyal. He was a good guy. Almost yeah, too loyal. Great guy. Yeah. Yeah. He, was a, he was a fucking good guy. I, I only have fond I thoughts him. of that guy, man. I miss him. I, I, I look back at some of the old pictures we took together. I have, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a shame. We really lost a good guy, you know, very, way too early. I mean, 31 years old is, is, uh, is Bro, terrible. Somebody... I'll never forget that day when I saw that, the news on Facebook that, you know, the I guess Rosetta posted the pictures yeah. or whatever. I mean, of all, I mean, we, we've lost a lot of people, you know, over the last, you know, 15, 20 years or so. And I, I really can't think of another one that just tugs on my heartstrings as much as, as losing Derek. Yeah. You know, that was really big for, for, for us. I mean, that was, I think that hit home one of the closest. He was one of the closest guys we knew. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For me. Oh, anyway. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and, and, and 
and the tragedy of it. I was totally expecting him to get better when he got when he said he got a donor and he was going to get a new kidney and and I mean everything was looking up. I mean it was and then I mean what he, they found that tumor on his liver and then what by his second his second round of chemo that was that killed him. He was done. Yeah, I I, yeah. I didn't have I knew that it wasn't going to I look we, even before anything was wrong with him officially he he didn't look right and I knew I knew it wasn't going to end well because he couldn't he couldn't stop. He was go, 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 go. And at some point when you find out, hey, something's wrong with me, you, 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 know, you heal. He couldn't no, stop. He, be he was so worried about what people were going to think about him and yeah. so concerned about his image and, you know, if people were going to say knew, he was small. I knew he was done because Rosetta was telling me when he was in the hospital at the end, she would go every day and shit and see him. And she was like, yo, he's, he's, this is it for him. Yeah. That, it's, you know. He was an organ And then failure. he was fucking... He was posting. I think he posted two hours before he passed away. I mean, he was. But he was. He was. So what? I don't. I don't even really understand what happened. He. He was. He was going to chemo. He was doing chemo for the tumor on his liver because they couldn't do the kidney transplant if he had a. If he had right. anything else wrong with him. So he had one round of chemo. I talked to him, and he was going to have the second round of chemo. And I did, and and he was like the next day. He was, it, I mean, his body just couldn't handle it. I mean, well, what, he was, what? He was on dialysis first of all, so his right. kidneys weren't working, right. Once, and then his did. liver stopped working. So you know, you you need a liver. I mean, the kidneys are what did him in, though. The fact yeah. that the liver and the kidneys, those two things, forget it. That's what my father died from. Yeah, you know I don't I mean? think I didn't think he had liver cancer. I thought he just had some like some cysts on his big cysts, but I could be wrong. I, I don't really know the. Exact. I think it was cirrhosis of something. I'm not sure. Rosetta knows everything. I mean, you know, because his he, mother, you know, he was on he was taking steroids at a very young age. Uh, well, he was on, he was taking he was on chemo. So we were obviously. Oh, he that, was. Oh, I didn't know that. He was on his and he, he was fucking with that new bane shit too, right? Everybody. Yeah, that, that wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't. What killed him was the high blood pressure, really. And I don't. I I know he had had some liver cysts early on in his career. You know, those things can get worse if you continue to take a lot of drugs. He couldn't stop taking steroids and he couldn't stop injecting synthol. Not that the synthol killed him, but the you know he had a lot of infections from the stuff too because his well, immune system wasn't good. You know. And well, then why was he on chemo? Well, then why was he on chemo? He, you probably were right. He might have maybe it turned into cancer at the end. You know, those those cysts, yeah. those big cysts you get on your liver, the the the, the um, uh, blood filled ones. I forget what they're called. They can turn into cancer. You know, I've oh. I've, I've seen it happen. Chris Jolali, remember Chris Jolali, the bodybuilder? Yeah, 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 that happened uh -huh. to him. That's how he died. So um, it, it probably was the, maybe the liver killed him eventually because he was on dialysis. So I guess the kidneys it wasn't his kidneys that killed him. But he was going into multi-organ failure, you know? Well, he looked really bad at the end. His, the, yeah. It poisoned his system. It just, yeah. I remember seeing his face and going, holy shit. His face, his face was like big and, and the eyes were fucking it's black cool. circles around him and shit. Yeah. He didn't look good. <clears throat> A chemo will fucking kill you. I mean, faster. Well, that's the whole idea. It either kills the cancer or it kills you first. One of the or two, both, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's I mean, what it we, is. We poison. lost a really good guy, you know, and it was it's a shame because it really it was I think it was completely avoidable and it was a lesson hopefully for a lot of people out there that you know you just can't you can't live a life like that. He was on a burnout pace and it was it was it was it was, it was bound to happen. I knew it was going to happen and I and I warned him and I had multiple talks with him. I sat him down man to me like oh, it was his dad and I said, "Look, Derek, you got to listen to me." You're, you're going to kill yourself eventually. You cannot keep this. Number one, you have to stop reading everything online. John and I had that talk with him multiple times. Oh, Se I told him too. Secondly, I said, you got to stop all the gear. You got to clean out. You got to take care of your health at this point. Fuck everyone else. You don't need the money. You got money. You're making cash. Stop. He couldn't do it. He just couldn't do it. Because he's that kind of guy. He was like a fucking, uh, you know, uh, James Dean, you know what I'm saying? One of those kind of guys. Better to know, burn out was... than to fade away. That was, you know, the motto, right? Right. right. He, he lived all 80 years and 30. Yeah, <laughs> he did. True. He did. True. Not for nothing, but look, I'm going to take my metformin right now. Uh, look, my, my metformin. <laughs> and speaking of liver shit, you know what I mean? I got to take care of that. Does that bother your uh, your GI tract? A lot of people say it can bother your stomach or your... Uh... Your intestines. You're you get, talking to a guy who shits fucking all the time, so it doesn't. No, it doesn't bother me okay. at all. You sure you don't shit the thing out? You might not even absorb the pill. No, no. How would you know what caused his shit <laughs> issues? He knows. <laughs> he's he's so sensitive to it. If you see a little pill shoot out your asshole, then you know you're not absorbing it, uh, Fred. 
<laughs> no, you know what's funny, bro? I, dude, Dave, you and I have something in common. We should have a contest, you and I, see who can swallow the most pills at one time. Oh, you can do it I too? Know you can do that. And then chew. I chew my pills. Ugh. I chew everything. Gross. You know why? Because one time I took, I remember when they first came out, Unipro amino acids, you know, and they're like little stones, you know, yeah. like they're like vitamins. And I took them all in, in one shot and I swallowed them. And when I shit, they all came out like corn. You know what I mean? Like I could see the, I could see the amino acids in my shit, the whole pill. You know what I mean? So I took them out of the toilet, washed them off, and ate them again. Ah. <laughs> I saw my uncle, he was a doctor, chew an aspirin once. You know, cause yeah. he, they would, my dad and him were drinking and he chewed an aspirin. He's like, I said, what did you do that for? He goes, oh, it hits you much faster. I tried that. It was the, it burned my mouth. It was disgusting. I don't know how any, try to chew an I aspirin. I chew aspirin. I, I, I dare like you. I chewed them. I chew everything. Do everything. You? Even ibuprofen will burn oh, your mouth a little bit. Shit. Nasty. Not me, man. I, I chew everything. A handful of pills like you, Dave. It's, yeah. Well, big, big surprise. Something we have yeah. in common. <laughs> it's a so big you, mouth for the Italians. Pills. That's what it is. Dave's like my lo my long lost twin. Soul, soul twin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bro, you know what's funny? We get back to Derek Anthony. I just thought about something. Somebody put a picture because him and I were together, and uh, somebody put a picture. I think I had a sandwich in my hand, and somebody put a picture, and and he was uh, giving a middle finger. And somebody put a picture of like a dildo in my hand and it looked like a dildo in his hand. And and he was and they put it on get big. And he was I gotta find that picture because I think I have it. And he was like freaking out, bro, they think we're faggots. <laughs> 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 Oh shit. You got you, know? you got a you got a good invitation of Derek down pretty good. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Come on, Dave. You know, he'd get all fucking he, but Dave, he did love you. I got to tell you something. He thought of you as like a father figure. No, I know. He just, I, 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 I wish can say that for a fact. Would, if you told him to eat dog shit, I think he would do it. Yeah, early in his career, he was, he was like my son. He would do anything I told him. That's when he was very, that's when he was really making his most money and he was so successful and he was very popular. And then he just, I, I lost him somewhere. I just, he got, and he got sucked into the get big vacuum, I call it. And they let these guys get under his skin. I tell everyone, I say, look, people, no one criticizes me more than anyone else. There's people that love me, they hate me. I don't care about what anyone says. I just let it bounce right off. It doesn't matter to me, you know? Me and, too, I, bro. I was bro, you and me, dude, I'm, I'm the guy that does a whole article, the most hated man in bodybuilding I wrote that's about. That's true, me, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so I was we're all to... up there. Dude, every, to... in my whole house, everybody hates me. If I fucking, <laughs> if I let that shit fucking bother me, yeah. you know what I mean? My daughter tells me, I hate you, fuck off, give me money. You know what I mean? Like, forget about it. <laughs> I, I was trying to make a point with Derek about that. I said, I said, imagine there's a website in Pakistan, okay, and there's 50,000 people on it, and they're bad-mouthing you. They're telling you you're gay. You got posting pictures of you with faggots <laughs> doing threesomes and the, the worst shit you could imagine. And he goes, where? What's the adrenaline? <laughs> What site is that? I go, no, imagine if there was one. He goes, where, where? I got to find it. <laughs> He was like that, bro. <laughs> he was going to go fight like all the Pakistanis. Yeah, that's the way he'd do. He'd fly to Pakistan to go find the guys. He would. Right? He would. Oh, well, it's purely a hypothetical. Fuck them. Fuck them. He'd be, he'd be pissed off. Oh, man. He was one of them. I'll guys. shoot him in the foot. So all you have to do is say, hey, by the way, see the Yankees made a trade. Who'd they trade? Right. You know what I mean? He, and if he, he was, that look, would get him right out of it. He's looking down on this show. He's so he's probably laughing his ass. He's probably so happy that we're talking about him right now because yep. he was a legend. He was a legend during that time. And because he died young, he became a legend, the legend of Derek Anthony. And so absolutely, he'll be always remembered in our industry. He'll always be remembered by me, that's for sure. I, I love the kid. Oh, like I absolutely. said, I know me you too. guys did too. And um, hopefully this show will... You know, have people remember him, and maybe people who don't remember him will go Google him and, and watch some of his crazy. Because the videos are still out there. You can watch all these videos yep. of him screaming yep. into the camera. I yeah, get I you, douchebag one two three. I saw what you wrote about me. Fuck you. Meet me on the front lawn. I'll take you out. I'll shoot you <laughs> in the foot. Egg? I'm not afraid. I'll give you my fucking home address right yeah. now. Yeah. You fuck. <laughs> That's what he'd say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still got pictures of me and him. I'm wearing his shirt, the Derek, the DA show. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I got one too. My <laughs> wife does too. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, thanks for uh, joining me uh, after hours, as always, to uh, remember Derek Anthony and 
uh, once again, he was uh, he was a great one. He will be missed. Uh, Derek, we love you, and uh, you know you're in our you, thoughts, Derek. man. Love you, Derek. All right, guys, this is what happens. You know, after hours, we get to talk about whatever we want. If you guys have ideas for topics, put them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Hit like this video. If you don't like it, give us the middle finger up. We don't care. We'll see you next week. Hey, if any of us die, you better put a show on us, too. <laughs>